Hello, welcome all of you, my dear students. I'm your Tarun sir. Today we are going to learn uh, the basics of grammar. Why we have to learn basics of grammar? Students, it is really important uh, that the 10th standard students of our Telangana board, um, you know what? They have equivalent worth of 40 marks paper as the text dependent, which is paper one. All right. So paper two consists of entire grammar, excluding 15 marks of minor and major discourses. So part of this, some of the students messaged me asking for, sir, can you please teach some basic uh, grammar, which is really important. We didn't get uh, such good classes. So keeping it that mind, my dear students, I'm taking you through the basics of grammar. Uh, which is really important, okay? And students who are not aware of these uh, depth in uh, little grammar, basic part of the grammar, you please, uh, this class will be really helpful for you. And also, I hope the word study, which is called vocabulary, which is really important for you, 10th standard. So this class will really help you for you, uh, for you guys to make a good worth of marks in your paper two examination. So let us see. You all know parts of speech, right? You all know parts of speech. Parts of speech are eight in number. But uh, we have four parts of speech which are really important for you. Uh, each and every part of uh, speech is really important. But when it comes to each and every sentence making or maybe a major proportion of the grammar uh, is depends upon this noun, verb, adjective and adverb. Sometimes our students often confuse uh, between uh, noun and a verb, sometimes adjective and a noun, adverb and adjective. So let us make uh, the things better to learn now and uh, let us uh, try to avoid the confusion between these four. Okay, so let us begin with noun. Students, you know what is noun. Noun is the name of a person, place, thing. Okay, sometimes some of the students, they say even including animals and etc. etc. Today we are going to learn the complete form of the noun, its definition and the examples, including the classification as well. Okay, so now what is a noun? Noun is the name of Person, place, thing, and also we have feelings. Concepts, ideas, and even uh, names of qualities. Don't get confused. I am saying here names of qualities. I'm not saying the quality. Okay. Qualities are adjectives. Here, the names of qualities I'm talking about. Okay. So students, listen, this is the original form of the definition of noun. Noun is a name of person, place, thing, feelings, concepts, ideas, qualities. Listen, man has named a particle to the space satellite. Each and everything he has named. Even, you know, students, man has even named to our feelings. Okay, concepts, ideas, and also for qualities, which are really invisible, isn't it? Let us see, uh, let us have a differentiation here. Persons, they do have a physical existence, isn't it? See, I'm a person, 
I do have your physical existence here. You can uh, right away look at me, okay? And you can also touch me like this, okay? And places. Place is somewhere we are standing here. Godavarikani is a place. Tadapalli is a place. America, London, everywhere. Wherever we go, that is called a place, right? So place is also got some shape, size, and physical existence. Students, okay, thing. Things are all artificial ones, like chalk, computer, chair, pen, pencil, whatnot. Person comes under living or uh, living category, living things category. We can say all the animals, even we can call it off under one category, which is living things. And here we have non-living things. And living things and non-living things habituate at a definite place. They all got definite place to habituate, right? So that is place. So these all we can, these are having physical existence. Even we can see, even we can touch. Okay, but you know what? The fourth one, which I'm talking about, feelings, concepts, ideas, qualities, they don't have any physical existence, students, but still they got their own names. You understand what I'm saying? So let us write some examples for you. Persons, examples, Tarun. Okay, next place, examples like let us see. Uh, let us write Budarikani. Things, pen, pencil, or something. And for feelings, concepts, ideas, listen, feelings, happiness. Isn't it? Happiness. Happy is an adjective. Concepts, like you know. Intelligence. This is a quality. Name of it? Quality. Promotion. This is a concept. Concepts. Okay. Next, we have ideas. Power. Maybe something. See, we have so many examples, my dear students, which tells us all about feelings, concepts, ideas, and qualities. We can also say like they are states, the names of the states. I'm not saying those states which are there in India. That that's like this is one state of body, like such a way I'm talking about. So these are the are the finest examples. Tarun, Gudarikani, and also happiness, intelligence, promotion. This is part, and this part of examples are invisible, right? We only feel, we only feel, but uh, they don't have any physical, they do not have any physical existence. They don't have physical existence, persons, place, and things. Okay, so this is all about noun. Noun is name of a person, place, thing. Feelings, concepts, ideas, and qualities. Okay, so these are the examples which I have written here for all these. But still, they all comes under what nouns? Okay, students, take a screenshot of this. Take a screenshot of these. Right. I'm going to rub this board. Let us know now classification of nouns. Classification of nouns. How they are classified. Like we have already learned just now. 
based on their physical existence based on their physical existence like um, we have two kinds of uh, nouns first one is concrete nouns the other one is abstract nouns concrete nouns and abstract nouns what are concrete nouns what are abstract nouns let us have uh, the information concrete nouns are the names of persons places and things concrete nouns are the names of persons places things what are abstract nouns abstract nouns are like ideas concepts qualities okay you understand like again concrete nouns are classified into students on the base uh, based on their physical existence concrete nouns and abstract nouns are classified okay so these are uh, part of the nouns they do have physical existence abstract nouns they do not have any physical existence okay so these are uh, visible those are invisible okay so concrete nouns are commonly kinds concrete nouns are four kinds again like we have first one common nouns proper nouns material nouns collective nouns students okay so what are common nouns like you know when we really don't know the name of the other person but we happen to talk to them we try to talk to them on a need or something else then what we say uh, then uh, according to their physical appearance uh, hello hello boy hey boy hello boy we call him as boy or if we, if she is a girl hey girl in this way using they are like according to their physical appearance we call them isn't it so when we don't know the exact name okay so boy girl uh country so what is a uh, proper noun again proper noun is the name of the particular person or particular thing or particular place particularly we call it with the definite name that look there are uh, num many a number of uh, countries located in the world right so country is a common noun india is a proper noun boy is a common noun if i write one boy name uh, anil anil is what proper noun girl is a common noun uh, any other girl name if we write akanksha akanksha is a girl name so name particularly given to a girl therefore it is called proper noun in country i'll write india for example if if we say like town town is what town is a common noun godavari gani is a proper noun flower is a common noun jasmine rose these are 
the names absolute names of the flowers so they fall under proper noun you understand what am i saying tree is a common noun neem tree is a proper noun city is a common noun new york delhi bangalore mumbai hyderabad these are cities so these names falls under proper noun that you have to understand next material nouns are the names of the material students gold copper silver uh coal unique materials available on earth unique materials available on the earth they falls under different category such kind of nouns or the names falls under material noun next collective nouns collective nouns what are collective nouns collective nouns are the names of a group of same kind for example class class consists of students right they have a common point team team consists of players a team of players a class of students a cattle of sheep the parliament of owls the herd of elephants bunch of flowers a fleet of sheep ships a pack of fox or wolf okay so collective nouns bunch uh crew band staff fleet exam like these are all examples okay so students this is all about concrete nouns concrete nouns are of four kinds common nouns proper nouns material nouns and collective nouns okay so again this common noun is classified uh, into two other nouns which are fallen under countable and uncountable countable and uncountable you know whatever the common nouns like whatever the common nouns which can be counted like you know chairs the number of chairs we can count the number of population we can count the number of men the number of women uh, the number of flowers like you know what the definite items where we can easily segregate and we can have a definite number given to that so are called as countable nouns okay everything like pen pencil whatever you can you examples you can but it is different from uncountable nouns uncountable nouns are something which we cannot count absolute counting is not possible what am i saying is absolute counting is not possible like hair salt sugar oil these all falls under uncountable nouns salt sugar oil okay this is all about concrete nouns then what about the classification of abstract nouns students there is no further classification for abstract nouns there is no further classification from the abstract nouns but we can extract abstract nouns from words adjectives you understand we don't have any further classification but we can extract we can extract from verb and we can extract from adjectives when we learn the extraction of verb 
extraction of adjective uh, in making a noun or extracting a noun there in our confusion really leaves us we will be out of confusion okay how we going to learn now please before that students kindly take a snap of this one take a snap or maybe screenshot of what i have explained thank you i'm going to wrap this so detailedly we are going to learn how to extract abstract nouns from the words before that i have to explain you what is a verb and also i have to explain what is an adjective so look at this how i have written now let me explain the differentiation uh, to a verb and an adjective what is a verb verb students in the previous class when i happened to explain you the tenses i have given a brief information related to the word word is a word which tells us about an action possession and also status or condition a word which tells about an action in telugu we say it as kriya leda pani undadam kaligi undadam undadam kuda oka verb kali undadam kuda verb okay na so this is what noun definition uh, sorry verb definition now what is adjective adjective is a word which describes about a noun or a pronoun or a subject in the sentence what is adjective adjective describes like you know a handsome man a handsome man a tall girl the beautiful uh, a short boy a strong woman the narrow road how is a road narrow it's a wide ground so these all are adjectives okay so this is i hope you understood the difference between adjective and verb so let us extract some verb see by the time when i came here to the online class students i welcome you all of you and as soon as i have come here i've been speaking 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 i'm speaking a lot of english with you all right so what is speaking speak is a verb right isn't it idi oka pane kada ma so if we name the speak word we want i wanted to name it oka peru pettal anukuntunna oka verb ki ఇందులో నుంచి ఎక్స్ట్రాక్ట్ చేస్తున్నా కదా ప్రతి వర్క్ కి ఒక నేమ్ ఉంటుంది కదా సో లిసన్ స్పీచ్ స్పీక్ స్పీచ్ యు అండర్స్టాండ్ ఓ సర్ వి నో దిస్ రియల్లీ yes you all know but you know you have to understand the difference how this extraction has happened that is our difference okay next give most of us like to dig give something our parents always gives one or the other right you know so if we name give what is that give called as or named as give becomes gift this is a noun tell 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 sit seat sit seat g 
growth, growth. Create creation. Decide decision. So this is how we extract abstract nouns from the verb. I hope you understood, students. Now let us do the same with adjectives. Uh, adjectives like beautiful. First word I'm going with beautiful. She's a beautiful girl. So beauty is a noun. Beauty is what? Abstract nouns. Is a young man. Youth. Is a young man. Youth. Is a brave child. Bravery. You understand? This is a quality of a person which we say. Students, verbs are the words. Okay. So if we name the words, that becomes abstract now. And the same way, adjectives. Adjectives are qualities of the people. Qualities, right? You know, as I, uh, I have made you to write in the definition, the names of the qualities I said. These are the names of the qualities. She's a beautiful girl. From that word, what is the noun? In beautiful is andamaina amai. Tanu andamaina amai. Beauty andam. Beauty is what? Andam. Young. Youth. Brave. Bravery. Understood? See, listen. Courageous. Courage. Kind. Kindness. Happy. Happiness, angry, anger. So the, this is how it happens, students. This is how the extraction of words goes on. Uh, my dear students, I tried a little and I want you guys to make most of the words, most of the adjectives and name them. Those all becomes abstract nouns, isn't it? So this chapter of this lesson part of the grammar really, uh, it may be basic, it, it belongs to the basic grammar, but still it has got its own word. So I hope my students, whoever wishes to have this information or the knowledge of this uh, definite lesson, I have already fulfilled your request, my dear students. So if you have certain doubts related to any of the words, you can um, message me to my personal number and WhatsApp me or else you can uh, get the queries done. Okay. And thank you very much students. This is how um, it's all about noun, noun classification and the differentiation between uh, amongst word, adjective and what is that? Abstract nouns. Adjective, word, and abstract nouns. Okay. I hope you all have enjoyed this class. So now you try. Now you try doing. Okay. I must uh, have to assume what are the possible words which I do in the morning. What are the names that I can give to them? Okay, what are the qualities really I do have? And what if I name the qualities? That way you have to think. And you know what? See, from this 
adjective or from this abstract nouns we can also bring out verbs like beautiful is there beautiful becomes beautify same same with each and every word okay thank you all thank you so much uh, bye see you if you have any queries kindly students thank you